Hello, I'm Scott Hagler, Executive Director of Third Avenue Arts. It's my pleasure to welcome you to the first concert on our 2020-2021 virtual Concerts on the Couch series. Thank you for your patronage and support. It's challenging to find some good during the crazy times we're in, but I've got a couple for you. The first is that performing virtually, we're able to present artists to you that we couldn't otherwise because of distance or scheduling. Another thing is the ability for our audiences to take in the wonderful music at a time that's convenient. We'll keep links to concerts available to you for at least a week. Of course, at the end of the day, we are virtual because we care about your health and safety and that of our musicians. I encourage you to play the concert through your best speakers, headphones, or earbuds. Please take a look at the concert program at the link that came in the email with the concert link. I ask that you support the advertisers and tell them you saw their ads in the Performing Arts program. Dr. Angela K. Winter, Horn, and Senior Airman Lancer Hardy, Bass, have put together an exciting concert program while sheltering in place together since March. The program goes online November 20 and includes a variety of works from the Baroque, Classical, and Romantic periods, as well as some adaptations and arrangements from modern Latin composers. It will also feature some unaccompanied pieces for solo horn and solo bass. Here's a sample. Southwest Colorado Gives Day is coming up December 8, and we invite you to give where you live. You can schedule your donation now by visiting our website, 3rdaveart.org, and click on the banner for Southwest Colorado Gives Day, the regional partner for this statewide campaign. Of course, we're grateful for donations of any size, any day of the year. As art supporters, I know that you're aware that ticket sales do not cover the costs of putting on concerts and your donation is important to us. The Majesty of Christmas concert comes up on December 18, just in time to set the tone for your holidays. No Santa, no Frosty or Rudolph, just great Christmas music. Virtually join favorite local and regional musicians for an evening of beautiful Christmas music. Hear a bit of a piano four hands piece I recorded this week. The program you're about to hear features Ching Yi Lin, violinist, and Andrew Braddock, violist. They are both performers and educators at Western Kentucky University and will play for you an eclectic concert featuring works from Mozart to Martineau. Without further ado, please enjoy the concert. Thank you. 
Thank you so much for joining us for this concert. My name is Ching Yi Lin. And I'm Andy Braddock. We're playing for you from Bowling Green, Kentucky, and you've just heard the Mozart duet for violin and viola. Um, Mozart also wrote another one in the key of B flat for violin and viola, but we just love 
this one, um, the G major, starting with this beautiful chord at the very beginning to welcome all of you to our concert. The next piece on the program is the first movement of a work by the American composer Michael Rose. Michael Rose is a professor and composer at Vanderbilt University in Nashville. The name of this work is Unturned Stones, and it's in some ways a reference to his joy of experiencing nature and hunting and seeking out little wonderful artifacts found in nature. One of the things that I love about this movement uh, is the contrasting characters. And I think in some of the slower sections, what you'll hear is some of that grittiness where he makes the instruments almost sound like dirt, like he's searching in the woods. So I hope you enjoy the first movement of Michael Rose's Unturned Stones.
So Andy and I both teach at Western Kentucky University and I don't want to speak for Andy but I think my true calling was actually teaching children. So at the beginning of every school year, every semester actually, we would go into um, various schools and play music for children. We just, we just love playing um, violin and letting the, the kids know that um, they can have an opportunity to learn if they like to. Um, violin actually comes in all different sizes. So this is my daughter's, was this 32nd or? 16. 16 size violin. She's 22 months old and she can already um, pick out the tailpiece, the strings, and um, we, we just, we love um, teaching children how to play music. And every time that we go and perform for these children, we always like to paint them a story, the story that music can tell, and we wanted to play some of these pieces for you today. So the three works that we're going to be playing are a part of these presentations that we give at schools. And they are, these three pieces come from a set of 44 duos written by the Hungarian composer Bello Bartok. And these duos are kind of a whole entire world of music and they have so many different influences. One of the things that Bartok was known for was his study of folk music. And so Bartok would go out into the countryside and transcribe the melodies that he heard from the villagers. And these three pieces are all based on the music that he found in these villages. So the first one is a slow, mournful song, and it has a very open type of sound to it, but it's also a little, a little sad. The next movement is called the Mosquito, and uh, I think it's pretty self-explanatory. And we also do our best to sound like annoying mosquitoes by making kind of a scratchy sound on our instruments. And the final movement is a rousing dance with lots of pizzicato, and I think you'll feel the um, peasant-like energy in this piece.
So one of the questions we get asked a lot now as musicians is what do you do with performance and teaching during COVID time? And the answer to that for me is um, not everybody's as lucky um, as I am to have a built-in wonderful violist at home to play with. <laughs> Some would call that unlucky, but... <laughs> <laughs> but a couple of weeks ago, um, we held a camp for our students. And and do you want to tell them a little bit about this camp you directed? Sure. So this camp was a, a digital strings camp uh, done through Zoom, all virtually. And the big project that we had our students do it was centered around the Bartok duos, three of which you just listened to. And for each group, we paired two students together and they learned the duos and made individual recordings of their part and then they learned how to put them together um, in a single video. So it was like they were playing together even though they were at their own homes the whole time. Yeah, and we wanted to show you a clip, a short clip of our favorite performance that really depicts what I think COVID is like right now. We hope that gave you a little chuckle. I mean, we, we certainly laughed quite hard the first time we saw it. <laughs> so our idea with this program today was to play shorter selections of pieces to give you a taste of the broad variety of music written for violin and viola. And so we're continuing that with our next selection. We'll be playing two pieces from a larger work called Rumi Settings by the composer Augusta Reed Thomas. This piece, which is obviously for violin and viola, is inspired by a certain poem by the poet Rumi. And I'd like to read for you the first two stanzas of this poem, which correspond to the two movements that we'll be playing. Don't worry about saving these songs. And if one of our instruments breaks, it doesn't matter. We have fallen into the place where everything is music. The strumming and the flute notes rise into the atmosphere, and even if the whole world's harp should burn up, there will still be hidden instruments playing. So the candle flickers and goes out. We have a piece of flint and a spark.
The next work on the program is perhaps the shortest piece that we're playing. It clocks in at only about a minute and a half. This piece is by the German composer Hans Werner Henze. Uh, during coronavirus time and, and uh, our, our quarantine, I think a lot of us have picked up weird hobbies and, and fun little things. Um, one of the things that I've been doing a lot is learning about Henza and learning some of his music. He has a majestic viola sonata and I fell in love with his string quartets and I can't stop listening to it and I can't stop talking about it. And I've even been reading his biography, his autobiography. So it's been a lot of fun to explore this person's life and his music. And so I was overjoyed when I found this short work for violin and viola. The piece is dedicated to the mother of a bride. So it celebrates the wedding of Allegra and Boris. And Henzo was good friends with Allegra's mother. So he wrote this as a gesture of friendship. So I hope you enjoy this short but wonderful work by Hans Werner Henze. The final piece on today's program is the first movement of Martineau's Three Madrigals. I've always loved playing this piece because it has a sort of incessant energy to it and it fills me with a lot of excitement even while we've been stuck at home all these many months. So I hope you enjoy Martineau's, uh, the first movement of Martineau's Three Madrigals. And thank you for coming to our concert. I hope everybody stays healthy, safe, and happy. Thank you. 
Thank you. 